If you have apple trees, you know there can be an abundance of apples throughout the warmer months. It's important to know how to properly store your apples for long-term freshness. When it's apple season, I like to use as many preservation methods as possible. I make apple cider vinegar mostly, but other methods include making applesauce, making apple cider, making apple pie filling, dehydrating the apples, or freeze drying the apples. For the remainder of our apples, we like to store them for eating or for a treat for the animals. There's nothing like a fresh, crisp apple in the middle of winter to make it feel just a little bit more like summer. Some apple varieties are better suited for long-term storage than others. Varieties with thick skins like Granny Smith, Honeycrisp, Braeburn, Rome, or Northern Spy can last up to six months in proper storage conditions. Other apple varieties may only have a short shelf life. When picking apples for long-term storage, it's very important that you do not get bruised apples. Handle them very carefully. Any apples that drop to the ground can be set to the side and used for other purposes. Also, make sure that they do not have any nicks or cuts in them. Cut apples release ethylene gas, which can speed up the ripening process and cause them to spoil faster. Be sure to pick out any leaves that may be on the apples, but keep the stems on. And also keep in mind that apples will freeze at 26 degrees Fahrenheit. Make sure to harvest them before the temperature drops too much. Many people will tell you the refrigerator is the only way to store apples. However, if you have a place for cooler storage, this may be an option, especially if you don't have the refrigerator space. Lay the apples in a large cooler. It is okay if they are touching. Put the lid on the top, but don't close it all the way. It is important that the apples get airflow. You also want to avoid condensation forming on the inside of the cooler with nowhere to escape, as this can promote mold. This method can preserve apples for up to five months. Now, as the saying goes, one bad apple spoils the whole bunch. Be sure to periodically check your apples to make sure that there are no signs of rotting. If you do see a bad apple, be sure to remove it and any apples around it that are showing signs of bruising or rotting. If you do not have a cool storage area or the refrigerator space, you can leave your apples out at room temperature. Leaving apples out at room temperature is an ideal option for those who prefer a softer and juicier texture. Apples stored at room temperature will continue to ripen and may become sweeter and more flavorful over time. However, this method is not recommended for long-term storage, as apples stored at room temperature have a shorter shelf life and are prone to spoilage. If you choose to leave your apples out at room temperature, store them in a cool and dark place away from direct sunlight and heat sources. You can also use paper bags to help absorb moisture and prevent apples from bruising. When it comes to storing apples, there is no one size fits all approach. The decision between refrigeration, room temperature, or our cooler method ultimately depends on your preference storage options, and the desired texture and flavor of the apple. Just remember to keep apples separate from other produce and monitor them regularly to ensure they don't spoil. By following these tips, you can make the most of apple season and enjoy fresh, crisp apples all winter long. Remember, it's not about if, it's about when. SHTF Survival Homestead Teaching Farm thanks you for watching this video. Please continue to help us help you by liking, sharing, and subscribing.